Hi, my name's Aaron Massey, and I am the DIY guy behind youtube.com slash MrFixit. The do-it-yourself show where I teach you how to be a little bit handy by fixing some things around the house and hopefully saving you a little bit of money in the process. Growing up in a small town in upstate New York, my dad was kind of always the guy that everybody would turn to whenever they had a problem around the house or that needed fixing or uh, general construction related questions. So I guess you could say that I kind of got the bug from him. I spent most of my childhood all the way up through college working with him in a variety of different aspects of construction and learning as much as I possibly could. The skills that I didn't learn from him, I acquired because he taught me the value of having a solid work ethic and going out and learning on your own and not being afraid to fail. After college, I was looking for a little bit of a change, so I moved to the West Coast to pursue a career in film and TV. And I spent several years working in a variety of different capacities on TV and film sets. After several years of doing that, I kind of missed a lot of those skills that I had developed uh, as a kid. And I missed that feeling of getting your hands dirty. So. I decided to branch out and start something on my own and combine the two things that I love the most and that is building things and making videos. And so I launched Mr. Fix It. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this DIY sliding barn door from scratch. You know, I try to keep it fun. I try to put in as much humor as I can whenever I can. I rate these projects by how many F-bombs you can expect to drop while tackling the project. This one is pretty difficult. Building and repairing things can be a tremendous pain in the ass. Everybody knows that things that should be easy often turn out to be incredibly difficult and it's just hard work. You're gonna feel tired, you're gonna feel crappy, you're gonna feel moments of not wanting to do it, not wanting to push through it, but it can also be incredibly fun and incredibly rewarding. And when you do have those moments where it's just really hard work, but you accomplish it, I feel like there's nothing better in the world. You rarely can get that level of satisfaction that you get from finishing a project like that. And that is what drives me to make Mr. Fix-It content, and that is what I really enjoy about it. And sharing that level of joy with my audience. I am absolutely psyched. This thing is looking sweet. Is one of the best feelings I can, I can possibly have. My name's Aaron Massey from MrFixItDIY.com, and today I'm here to show you how to build this rustic timber-framed mirror out of an old garage sale mirror I picked up for 25 bucks. To cut these timbers, I'm gonna need to use a chainsaw. And if I'm gonna be using a chainsaw, you bet your sweet ass I'm gonna look the part.